The aim of this exercise is to take this scanned point cloud and convert it to a set of working surfaces. So I'll start by converting my scanned points to a, to a mesh. I'll use this with points to mesh function from the reverse menu. And I'll have a, a mesh representation of a part. I can refine this mesh. So I use a refine function, which then removes any deviation errors from the, from the scan data. So that's created a, a refined mesh. This may have holes in, so I'll use a fill gaps function. Just window select the geometry, deselect the areas I do not wish to, to fill in. You can see there's a few highlighted areas. Hit preview and you can see I've filled those gaps automatically. So accept that result. So now I'm going to use a smoothing function to try and smooth out the transition between all the triangles within the mesh. Again, each one of these functions is set up to create a, a new mesh and a new default layer. Um, so I can go back and compare the results if I wish. That's my smoothed mesh. So now I've got a, a good quality mesh to start the creation of surfaces. I'll use a analysis function. Just highlight the different areas of geometry, so the flatter areas where the radiuses are, drafted areas. So I'm now going to use or, or confirm this geometry and, and draw some curves between the intersections of the, of the different uh, coloured zones. So I'll just accept that, which now creates these curves, but these curves have got some, they follow basically the boundary of the coloured uh, zones. So I'm going to use a smooth curve function just to smooth out, to get a nice transition between the surfaces when I come to create the surfaces. And now if I use this project on mesh function to actually cut the mesh at the boundary of those curves that I've just simplified. You can see that it's imprinted into the, into the mesh and cut the mesh. If I continue this process and added some more additional geometry where I want the boundaries uh, of the surfaces to be made, if I now imprint all of these curves onto the mesh and basically it's still a single mesh but it's now segmented, you can see there I've got different boundaries. So finally the, the last part of the process is to create a surface from those mesh boundaries. Again, highlight the mesh and you can see it's an automated process. And this now gives us our final surface geometry.